open source intelligence organization called Bellingcat. It's in the news all the time and they do amazing work. But I'm not 100% convinced they are what they appear to be. This is a film I made for my Patreon supporters. If you would like to join us, sign up today and support truly independent research and filmmaking. <laughs>
some of the earliest evidence in this case was discovered by civilians who were looking for information, photographs, and videos on the internet. And they were being led by this gentleman by the name of Elliot Higgins. Higgins had just days before started what is essentially an online detective agency that he called Bellingcat. What Higgins discovered was that in this war zone of eastern Ukraine, there were a lot of people average civilians who were shooting videos and stills of military convoys going back and forth. So this is one of the first videos that was shared online after MH17 was shot down um, and it was shared claiming that this was a Buck missile launcher. So there were quite a number of photographs of this particular missile system which was on the bed of a flatbed truck. In addition to that, they were able to use geolocation, Google Maps and things like that, so they could very precisely say the convoy was in this location on this day at that time. One of the things that they can do if there's no time information in the photograph itself is they use shadows like a, like a sundial. Based on your research, this image was taken when in relation to the timeline of the shootdown of MA-17? Well, in this case, we know exactly where the camera is positioned. And you can also see shadows that are clearly visible. And that allows us to use these shadows as a sundial. So we were able to establish that this photograph must have been taken between 12 and 1 o'clock. And by chaining together all of these photographs and videos and the geolocation information, they were able to essentially draw the line of the convoy from a military base in Russia all the way to the firing position in eastern Ukraine. Stop. This is not exactly what it appears to be. Because seeking the truth is not completely objective. We all bring an agenda to our own truth. We seek a truth that confirms our own personal political position. Bellingcat do great work, but how independent are they? I seriously wonder if so-called open source intel is really a clever way for Western governments to disseminate their own information. The one thing you can't deny is that Russia was taken off guard. They never predicted that British comprehensive CCTV and Russian leaked information would expose their agents. I like that we live in a world that exposes Photoshop lies, but do we really trust this new truth? The truth is out there.